Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, we're talking about a nut splitter. Uh, yeah, a nut splitter. And uh, have you guys ever used one of these? I've had this in my toolbox. I'll give you a good look at it there. And she's, she's pretty sharp. You know, it's not like it's dull or anything like that. And I've had it in my toolbox for a long time. And I wonder how many of you have used it before. And the whole purpose behind this is you have a nut and this tool will apply pressure at a pinch point here with the fine blade and split the nut. Have you guys had any success with it before? Let's take a look. I'll put one on the vise and let's see how this works. Okay, I'm cheating a bit here. I got the big beast out here, the DeWalt, half inch impact. This baby's the bomb. It's got uh, fully charged battery on it. And that's the way I'm gonna go. And of course, you just got the impact socket on there. And I'm just going to impact the back of it here. I'll tell you right off the bat, I have not had much success trying to do this manually. I imagine it can be done, but I've never really attempted it. Majority of the time, I can get an impact on it. Let's take a look. Well, the whole idea of this particular tool is to put it on the threads where the nut meets the threads. So the whole surface, I'll take this out of the vise for you here so you can see how this goes. That's how the tool is supposed to be. So you cover all the threads and you put one flat on there. And the majority of the time, the why, why you're doing this is because the nut is either rounded off or it's so rusted on there that you want to get the fastener out without having the ability to take the nut off so easy. So let's put the uh, impact on it and let's take a look. Now I know it's going to be hard to see, but I'll show you the effect here. Whoa, better tighten that vice down a bit more. And I'll just undo it. Now, I want to show you this up close, exactly what it did. And you could see how it, it, it split on this side all the way through. Guys, I'll get you as close as I can in there. But she's right straight through there. And all I would have to do is just go around the other side and do it again. Or in most situations, that will release enough pressure that you can just untwist it and take it off. Well, I hope you like that. I'll show you the uh, the bolt here, and hopefully you can see on the top there. Yeah, there is some damage done here. So what I did is I had to use a, uh, a wrench and just kind of back it off. And here's the result here. And you can definitely see that, yeah, it does punch through there. Very nice, and it is quite effective. And I've used it, I've only used it myself uh, usually on 3 8 to half inch bolts and uh, so I would say like a uh, 5 8 9 16 uh, nut that's about it but it's worked fine for me over the years not in very many situations do I use this usually it's in a spot where you can't get in there with I would say like a uh, sawzall or uh, or you can't even get an impact in there on it because it's rounded over and you can't get a wrench on it, you can't get nothing on it, and it's rusted. And this is a good way to, uh, to get this combination together. And guys, it's, uh, this tool here, I'm telling you I bought, well it's a long time ago, uh, but I would say you can still buy this tool today. I'm saying anywhere for under 10 bucks, I think so. I'm not, I, I haven't bought it in a long time, but I'm saying like 10 bucks. This is a good tool to have in your arsenal when you're out there and you need to have a nut actually split and that way there you can uh, complete your particular repair. So thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again guys. Let's have some more fun. Cheers.